This is number seven for the second AccuPlacer test. Uh, this one, we have a table here where it lists the approximate population in millions for France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and the United Kingdom. So they're asking, um, they're showing you the population of five countries in Europe. Okay. Uh, the table gives the population of the five largest countries in the European Union in the year 2014. Which of the following is the closest to the mean population of these countries? Now, this is the key word, is mean. Okay. Now, mean means average. And I don't know, for some reason in math, they can't just say average, they like to use different words, so they use the word mean. When you learned the word mean back in high school, you may have also learned the words median and mode. And maybe that's why they decided to use the word mean, because you have three words that all start with the letter M. Median is the middle value in a list. And mode is the one is the most occurring. So let me give you an example of mean, median, and mode. Let's say you had a set of numbers where you had five, three, five, 10, and two. So we have five numbers there. So the first thing we wanna do is put them in order from smallest to biggest. So the first number is going to be two, then three, then we have two fives, and then the largest and last is 10. So we have that, and what we're going to do to find the average is we're going to add up all these numbers and then divide by five. So we're gonna find the total and then divide by the number of elements. One, two, three, four, five. So let's do that. We're gonna find the mean first. So we're gonna add two, three, five, five, and 10. So two plus three is five, and another five is 10, and another five is 15, and then, the, and then 15 plus 10 is 25. So we have 25 inside the house, and we're gonna divide it by five. Five goes into 25 five times, because five times five equals 25. So the average of this list, of this list, is five, okay? Now, the middle of this list, you have to, again, you have to make sure that they're in order from lowest to highest. You go, you count the number and you find the one that's in the middle. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And the middle one is that one. So since we have two on this side, we have two on that side, we know that five is in the middle. So the median is five. And then the last one is we go, we look at the list and we see which number is occurs the most. So we have two fives in there and five is the mode. So that's our, rev that's our review of median, of mean, median, and mode, okay? So we're gonna focus on the, the mean, which is adding up all the elements and then dividing by the number of elements. So we had five elements, we added them up, we got 25, we divided it by five, and we got five. So that's how we find the mean or the average. So, so let's add up all of these numbers. So we have 65.9, and again, I'm gonna to try to keep my columns nice and neat. And then we have 80.8, 60.8, 46.5, and 64.3. 
So we're going to just go down the list and we're going to add them up. So 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 8 is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 3 is 33. And I carry the 3. So we have 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 plus 4 is 18. And I remember that I need to put a decimal there. So 18, and I carry the 1, forget about that 3 now. 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, 15 plus 6 is 21, 21 plus 4 is 25, 25 plus 6 is 31. So the total of all these numbers is 318.3. So let's do the division. And I'm going to make this a little bit longer just because. 318.3. Now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to divide this number by 5 to find the mean. So we're finding this, and mean again is average. So to find the average, you add up all the elements, and then you divide it by the number of elements. One, two, three, four, five. And assuming that we didn't get this right, whatever I get here will be somewhere on this list. So watch. So we have 308, so 33 is too small, so it can't go there, so we move over one. So 31 goes into five, six times. Six times five is 30. 31 minus 30 is one left over, and then I bring down the eight. Five goes into 18 three times. Three times five is 15. 18 minus 15 is three. I bring down the three. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to carry it over one extra one. So if you remember these numbers originally only go to the tenths. So I'll go to the hundredths so we can round. So 5 goes into 33 six times. 6 times 5 is 30. And then that gives us a 3 left over because 33 minus 3. Uh, 33 minus 30 gives us a leftover of 3. Bring another zero down. Five times, five goes into 30 six times. Six times five is 30. Zero, boom, we're done. So we could have ended there, uh, but I wanted to just take it out one more spot. And we found that if we did that, it actually gave us, um, it ended. So now let's see our choices here. So we came up with 63.66. And what they're asking, what number is closest, nearest to one of these? So I look, I have 63.66. That's pretty far away. This is closer, but this is even closest. So C is our final answer because this number and this number, this number, if I round to tenths, if I round to here, would go up to 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And then this one is way too small. So here's our final answer.